G'day guys, I'm Captain Noob and here today I've got the two shot dead eye assault rifle. Let's get into it. I was able to clear the room just there with basically one slow time, so that was pretty good. It's great for getting the twitch aim because you've got so much more time until the enemies react. It's one of the things I love about Deadeye so much. It's like taking Jet without any of the consumption of chems or addiction risk if you haven't got the perks necessary to mitigate that. Coupled with a two-shot weapon, you can see that it is extremely good, especially with something as powerful as the assault rifle. Knocked him down should be able to clear out this whole place pretty damn fast with this. Excellent. A couple of little snake attacks and you'll just mince everyone. He's not even looking the right way. So, too bad for him. This is the first time I've tried a dead eye or a, and another combination, so... First impressions, it's pretty good, especially on the assault rifle. Usually I like to stick on two damage increasing legendary effects that increase the base damage, but this is working very well indeed. So, other guns will definitely have potential with this. It'll be interesting to see what other guns can actually do well against that. It'd be nice if I could aim. I would have hit that guy and killed him a lot sooner, but shouldn't matter as we're almost done. Just one more turret. And that's it for Gunners Plaza. So, there you go, a very good weapon for mobbing, but how does it hold up when fighting a boss? Let's find out. Alright, so here we are outside the bear yard. Gonna test a bit of crowd control and boss at the same time. Should be a relatively easy fight considering how well we can went up against Swan. The trick is to get rid of his cronies first and not get staggered like that. Although curiously that did no damage to me. Um that would be the Unsuppables comic doing that 5% damage reduction chance. Proking there, which is really rare. He's nice and staggered, we won't be seeing him for a while. Down him on the ground and they'll be reduced to a giant pile of bear guts in a second. Can get plenty of shots on him when we're on slow time, but it would be nice if we could run after being staggered. Whoops. Have you gotten stuck, Mr. Bear? I'm taking it. You got yourself into this mess, you gotta get yourself out. You know what? I think we'll go for a rematch here. <laughs> Righto, Matilda versus Bear, take two. Hopefully this time we won't get stuck on the carriage. And action. I should mention how glitchy this bear has been in the past because he has been a pain in the ass to film for. Sometimes he gets completely stuck and so I have to delete the um, entire fight, which sometimes the fight could be actually pretty entertaining, but he just ends up getting stuck when he's, when, when he's past his mutation stage, so I ended up just shooting him while he stands there and takes it indefinitely. Oh, okay. Has he just got stuck again while I'm while I've said that? Huh. Come on, bear. You have gotten stuck again. Oh wait, no, he's out. Good. Okay, the fight goes on. The AI is getting self-aware. It's trying to outplay me by confusing me. It's Rise of the Machines. 
and bears and we're in trouble here. It appears the bear has some sort of institute levitation technology, so we better kill him for the Brotherhood of Steel, I guess. Super speed on the vats for some reason. Oh god. Don't hit me again. Oh, okay. I died. Rematch! Alrighty, Matilda vs. Giant Bear, take three, and action. Okay, doing pretty good damage at him for starters here. Making best use out of the slow time. Here come some of the cronies, gotta get rid of them. Looks like those tires mess up his pathing just enough. But not enough for me to get um, gang attacked by the other friggin' bears. Oh god, gotta run here. Maybe these rocks will give me an advantage for a bit. I'm not sure if the Yao Guys were designed to give you infinite screen shake when you stagger them like that, or if that's just an unforeseen effect that happens. It's not as bad in slow motion, but still bloody hell. Okay, we gotta move. Skillfully dodged him, which is good. Okay, where's he gone now? Losing him, so he, he's lost line of sight. Looks like some mist is rolling in. No, oh, it's more like Battlefield 1 now, except in this one you can actually kind of see. Oh, let's see if we can distract. Oh, whoops. Shot the raider that I was trying to use it as a distraction. Attack the raider, Mr. Bear. Thank you. Get your attention somewhere else where I shoot the crap out of you. Should be good. Is that a vertebrate I hear in the distance? Probably. So he's proving to be a far more worthy adversary than Swan ever was, so that's pretty good. Unfortunately, his pathing leaves a lot to be desired. Okay, we're gonna have to move again. One more hit will probably do us in at this point since he's mutated and ready to strike. Too bad his pathing doesn't do him well. Normal Yagwai pathing alone is pretty terrible from experience, so having the um, actor be as massive as he is, they gotta really, um, he really struggles with the pathfinding because of it. We can just duke him around the rock for as long as we want. He's a weird mannequin. Get in the aim down sights and slow down time a little bit. Almost done now. Is that him stuck again? No, he got out. This one's a little bit harder to fight than some of these guys, even though he seems to have less health because he does have that range attack, which he has pinpoint accuracy with. We'll see if we can finish him with that. Doing well with the crits there. I should be able to crit spam him the way of death right now, so this should be the last fight. There we go. So that's one dead bear, and for as low as the two-shot assault rifle's um, damage is compared to other weapons that I've made with this mod, it does a it does a really good job when paired with the dead eye effect. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this bear here took up most of the time, so blame him if you don't if you want to see more monsters. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys.